you for joining us for Veterans Day. On behalf of the Veterans Memorial Court Alliance, I'd like to thank all of America's veterans for their service and sacrifice for our country. Veterans Day was originally called Armistice Day and marked the end of World War I on November 11, 1918. It was changed to Veterans Day in 1954 to honor the service of all veterans. Today we have gathered to honor all Japanese Americans who have served since the Spanish-American War. We will start with a wreath presentation by Nori Uematsu and James Misaki, who will be joined by the board members of the Veterans Memorial Court Alliance. Thank you, Nori, James, and the executive board. Next, we will have floral presentations honoring servicemen from each conflict, starting with the Spanish American War. Betty Hiramatsu to honor the seven Japanese seamen who lost their lives on the USS Maine. Julie Yoshinaga to honor Kazuo Masuda, World War II. Staff Sergeant Masuda served in the 442nd Regimental Combat Team and was killed in action while holding his men's position to cover his men's withdrawal while under enemy fire. He was posthumously awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for his acts of courage during the war. Robert Wada to honor Ichiro Miyazaki, Korean War. Private Miyazaki served in the U.S. Army. He refused evacuation and medical treatment after being wounded by enemy fire and defended his position while being assaulted repeatedly by the enemy. He was killed during one of the attacks. For his bravery that day, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. David Miyoshi to honor Kenyu Shimabukuro, Vietnam War. Gunnery Sergeant Shimabukuro served in the United States Marine Corps. Despite being a sickly child, he wanted to prove that he was strong and able to physically handle being in the military. He was fatally wounded in Vietnam when his armored vehicle came under artillery fire. Clara Yamada to honor Mark Yamane, Granada. Specialist Yamane served in the U.S. Army and was killed in action after parachuting onto an airfield with the mission of capturing the airport. He was shot on the tarmac while laying down machine gun fire. Yamane was awarded the Combat Infantryman's Badge, Bronze Star with V Device, Purple Heart, Parachutist Badge, Army Service Ribbon, and Overseas Service Ribbon. Kelly Seta to honor Paul Nakamura, Iraq. Sergeant Nakamura served in the U.S. Army as a medic. He was killed in action when his ambulance was hit by a rocket-propelled grenade. Nakamura was awarded the Combat Medic Badge and the Bronze Star Medal. Tim Yoshinaga, on behalf of Mackenzie Fujigami, to honor Kirk Fujigami Jr., Afghanistan. Chief Warrant Officer 2 Fujigami was an Apache pilot. He lost his life supporting U.S. ground troops in Afghanistan. He was awarded the Army Aviator Badge, Bronze Star Medal, Air Medal, and the National Defense Service Medal. If you would like to learn more about the servicemen we are honoring today, their biographies are available under the Profiles section of our website, memorialcourtalliance.org. Thank you all for joining us this Veterans Day to honor the brave Japanese Americans who have served our country, and we extend our heartfelt gratitude to all men and women who have served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Thank you all for your patriotism, willingness to serve, and sacrifice for our country.